think practice is just doing it over the years. Sometimes I just, I just be stuck just doing it over and over and over within a little period of time, but then I'll pause, go on with my life, but then I'll still do it. Like, it's just part of me every day. You have your nickname at an early age. You find out about graffiti uh, seeing your cousin's room. When do you put two and two together and say, all right, I'm going to start writing and I'm going to use the name Bebo? No, it was middle school. It was middle school. It was a skate team. That's what it was. It was middle school. It was fucking, it was Team Jerks. Yeah. Um, it was Team Jerks, Team Chaotic, fucking, what else? Unknown Team. Like, all the, all the Virgil, like, skate teams and shit. I remember coming back one day from, uh, from summer vacation and like all my homies like they were all part of different skate teams and shit they were all beefing and that was when db was just starting this was like around 2002 or 2000 around there and um yeah i came back and everyone was from different sets and i was like Whoa, which one am i gonna get it so i came up with that name i was like oh, i'm gonna write bebo and that's, that's my nickname for, as a kid and i just I'll just tag it and shit. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just put it in the streets. How did you choose which uh, skating crew to get in, to join? Uh, it was my homie, my homie Hansel. He was like, hey dog, why don't you rock with us? It was Team Jerks. Yeah, and I was like, fuck it. Like him, other homies, we just kicked it. Virgil Junior High, growing up, I also went to Virgil, and it was uh, mostly gangsters and taggers. Uh, was the skateboard scene linked up with graffiti culture? How, how did how did those yet. two come together? Not yet. It wasn't even really graffiti. Like it was just like tagging. I want to be seen type shit. Like, why were there so many skating crews in Virgil at that time? Uh, I don't know. It was just like a rocker thing. Virgil, um, can you name some of the other, were there any other known writers in Virgil at that time that you remember? Or, or what, what were the big crews in Virgil at that time, if you remember? <laughs> the big crews back then are fucking gangs. Like, they're all like gangsters. Like, it was MIK, DIA, fucking like 18th Street, MS. Um, who else is in that school? A lot of K-Town and fucking like downtown, that around that area, all the hoods were pretty much in that school. And all the, like, yeah, it was all tag banging and gangster pretty much. Like if you were a tagger, you weren't really a tagger if you are banging back then. You're so. in Virgil, you're in middle school with your cousin. Is this when you take graffiti more seriously are you tagging in school? Are you sneaking out of school to go tag? Are you tagging before going to school? What's the situation like with trying to get up back in those days? It was all through skateboarding, bro. Like, I would, I would skate at spots and I, and I don't wanna be here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a right, so people knew I was here. So that's how, that's how it started. Like, just tagging at every spot that we would skate at. And then we come out in music videos and they'll be like, oh shit, you seen that shit? And it just hyped us up. Hype me up. When you, I, I wanna backtrack a little bit. When you come up with your name Bebo, was there any concern in your part that people wouldn't know how to pronounce it or how to say it? Yeah, but I didn't really give a fuck. I was like, fuck it. Like, I seen other names that are weird too, and I was like, man, fuck it, I'm gonna just put my name too. Right, Bebo, very unusual name, yeah. but it rings bells now. <laughs> you also do something very interesting. You, you write your name upside down sometimes. Can you please explain why you do that oh, as well? Reverse, reverse. Reverse. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I always had that throw in and uh, as forward, but. I don't know. I, I I don't know if you guys noticed, but over the years, my style has been the same. 
Like I either have that that throwy or I have that the other bubbly letters that I do. Um and that's been my style for years since I even started. I just like improved it every year. I try to improve it every year. And like recently I was like, man, I'm gonna try to do this shit backwards. Cause I'm left-handed. And like to go from left to right was kind of weird for me. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try to do it from right to left so I could extend it a little bit. And I just, I just started doing it and stuck with it. 